Hey guys, Jordan here, continuing on our series of self-discovery tools that you can find online. To get to know yourself more, we're gonna be looking at the three-in-one uh, test from practicalpie.com. Before you watch any for further, check the description for the link to my School of You uh, course. I can't wait to have you enroll in that to learn more about yourself. I talk about 15 self-discovery tools that you can use to get to know yourself better today and to make a killer action plan to actually follow through, make progress on your goals. Anyway, so today we're gonna be talking about this test right here. Uh, now this test purports to give you answers on for the big five, the dark triad, and the MBTI type. Uh, the test is pretty quick and easy. I like how, I like their directions right here. It says it takes less than 10 minutes and this test took me about 10 minutes to complete, so not too bad. Uh, if you are new to personality tests, I would budget uh, a little bit, just a little bit longer, maybe an extra five minutes there, so 15 minutes just to get this test done. But I think it's a good three-in-one test. Um, well, good and bad, we'll talk about that a little bit. But this is what it looks like when you take the test, super fast. I'm like, life of the party, disagree. You'll see how fast it loads there. There are 100 questions, and for me, I thought, eh, I don't know if I can get to 100 questions in... 15 or 10 minutes, that seems pretty quick, but it goes pretty quick. I feel a little, con little concern for others disagree. So you'll go through there and take those tests. Now, this is these are not my answers, but I wanted to go through the test again to show you what happens uh, when you go through and get the extra results. So ignore the answers on this one. I have my report here in a second. But if you hit get detailed report, uh, I was expecting, uh, see it does have information here that you get. I would have expected this information here as some, some sort of attachment uh, because I, I saved this screen and printed this out so I would have this information to show you. But if I click on this and I hit submit, I can't go back uh, and then there's no way to get back to this information without going through the whole test again. And the email you get here, uh, you can see right here, is not, uh, it does not include this the test results, which I thought that was pretty strange. I'm not sure why it doesn't. So that's kind of frustrating. So yeah, if you want to get your results, uh, you can print the screen, save this, get the detailed report with this information if you want, but you know you can't go back here uh, without completing the test again. So overall, it was an easy test to take. I just wanted to talk about my answers a little bit, and I'm actually going to compare them for you so you can see what they, what they look like compared to the other tests. Now, I've never taken the dark triad before, and actually we'll talk about that a in just a little bit, very, very quickly. Uh, what that looks like but these first five right here are my are my big five results overall not too far off on most of them uh, most of them are spot on maybe i'm a little bit higher on these three agreeableness conscientiousness and openness uh, than i was rated but neuroticism is super low and i actually rated higher i rated 61 percent on neuroticism when i took the test on truity so the question i always ask and you might get sick of me saying this if you watch any, any of my other videos, but the question is, does it relate to what you already know about yourself and, and compared to other tests that you've taken and what you can see? So for the most part, it was okay. I'm not sure why the neuroticism was so low. Uh, that's emotionally stable. Uh, I can be, but I would say more often than not, uh, I'm, I'm more unstable, I'm more up and down. So just thinking about that part there. Now the MBTI, I'll show you my results here. This is what I identify with, uh, the INFJ, and this test right here gave me, oh no, not, sorry, not that one. It gave me INTP, Lautitian. Of the ones, I'm probably most certain that I'm the N, and then I, I ranked the highest on the F versus T. So the fact that it spit out a T and a P is very interesting. Now I have tested for the P before. I think I go back and forth on that, uh, but I'm more of a mature J who has P tendencies than actually a, than actually a P on this test. So this is this is just wrong. So anyway, the uh, dark triad would be these three right here, and we're going to scroll down just so you can see where you can get a little bit more information on those. So the dark triad test it gives us a little bit about it. I'll probably do another video on the dark triad itself if you guys are interested. Just let me know in the comments down below if you want me to do that. But there's three here. It's very interesting. Uh, manipulative, manipulative, behavior, manipulative, manipulative behavior, cunning and sneaky, uh, narcissistic behavior. So at least, um, yeah, big ego. Uh, psychopath refers to one's inability to feel and share emotions. So it looks like I'm not a psychopath according to this test. So 
that's great. But I did rank on 46% narcissism. So we'll look that, at that again uh, and see. Narcissism, narcissistic behavior is commonly well known and deals with a big ego. I, I can see how I have issues with pride and can, can sort of have uh, issues with that. I don't know if I would necessarily translate that into a big ego. I don't know how how much 46% really goes there. So I would question that. But overall, it's kind of cool to have to take, excuse me, to take one test and then be able to see those three results. I would just compare them with what you know about yourself with other tests uh, and then just see what you get. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Comment in the video below if you've taken this test and what you think of it. Uh, if you have other tests that you think I should take, let me know as well. Otherwise, like the video, subscribe, do all those things, stick around for more in this series. And yeah, I can't wait. Have a good one. I'll talk soon.